If you wear glasses, you know exactly the problem I'm about to have right now. So I'm just cooking myself some chips and I'm just going to check up on them. Get it? Hashtag glasses problems. <laughs> That's it. That's my weekend in Birmingham. Done. I'm now driving back to London and back to reality. I was fine, whenever I come to Birmingham, I kind of forget about all the, the, the real things, like my presenting, my job, my money, like my income. I forget about everything when I come up here. But now, I've got, I get back down to London, I've got to face the facts I need to find work. And one of the biggest things that I keep pushing out is my presenting. And, I mean, I've, I've been in London about two and a half months now, and I've had ups and downs with my career. I've had ups and downs in the whole move to London as well, but particularly with my career because I've always been really lucky in terms of my work in the fact that whenever I start, whenever I want to get into something new, I always seem to excel at it and I get there quite quick because I do work very, very hard. But with presenting, it doesn't matter how hard I'm working, it's it's really hard to to find that break almost. And it's really, really difficult. And that's something I'm really struggling to come to terms with that I've been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing in my career in presenting. And it feels like it's just very tiny baby steps rather than big leaps. And I've had many, many moments where I've I've sat down, I've rung up Lizzie, um, and I've said to Lizzie, look, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Like, where is my future? I'm, I'm struggling to see a future in this because I'm not getting any opportunities. And she said to me, you know, all presenters, all actors, all singers go through this. It's quite a normal thing. And after speaking to so many people in this industry, in the media industry, it is a normal thing. We all do hit that kind of wall and we start to kind of think, should I be doing this? Is this actually going to be able to give me some sort of career? And the answer is yes, you should do it. If you know you're good at what you're doing, have that confidence, believe in yourself and push yourself even further because I do believe that one day I will get there. And I do believe one day someone will give me that chance. I just don't know when that day will be. And it's took me a lot of time to, to come to that realisation. It's come to it's took a lot of time for me to actually have that confidence in myself. And it's really I, I think it's really, really important that you don't overstep that mark of confidence where you go into being a little bit cocky. That's where, well, there's a, there's a very fine line between confidence and cocky. As long as you're confident in yourself and you believe in yourself, don't overdo it. And, you know, things are, things will go down again. I, I, I know I'll hit that, that wall again. I know I'll get that day where I'll think, oh, why am I doing this? But I'm so lucky in respect that I have Lizzie, I have other friends, um, Especially Lizzie, I find, because Lizzie's in the same boat as me, and it's quite good to have someone in the same situation as you. And we do help each other out a lot. So whenever she needs to pick me up, I'm there for her. And whenever I need to pick me up, she's there for me. And we are there for each other. And I think it helps that we both believe in each other as well. Like I, I know Lizzie's going to do incredible. I know she's going to be a fabulous presenter. I know someone is going to turn around and look at her and think, we need her, she's gonna make our show incredible. And she believes in me as well, so it's nice to know that somebody's there backing you up, because that, that gives you a massive confidence boost. And I know not everybody's lucky enough to have that kind of confidence boost, I know it's not. It's, it's not something everybody is blessed with. But when you do find that, hold on to it, because that is almost like your lifeline. That's the kind of thing that's going to keep you going and keep pushing you. But just remember, whenever you hit that wall, 
it's completely natural. You're allowed to feel like that. It's not a bad thing. It's something that everybody goes through in this industry. And it's something that you've got to kind of accept that, you know, you are going to have your ups and downs. But just remember, the good outweighs the bad. And that is what is more important. Just on my way to go and see Lizzie now, just walking along uh, the River Thames and we are going to be doing some self-taping auditions today. Um, I'll let you have a little sneak peek of these auditions as well so you get to see them for yourself. As you can see it is a gorgeous day today as well. Absolutely stunning and this walk is just gorgeous so I'm about to go head over and see Lizzie and I've got a little challenge for her as well. She's got no idea about this so this is going to be fun. Uh, so I'll catch you in a bit. I've just told Lizzie I've got a little challenge for her but she's got no idea No, you didn't it say it was a challenge. You said you had something to tell me. Okay, it's a challenge. Okay. So, I've brought a little something with me. Oh my god. <laughs> it's my challenge, Alex. It's got marshmallows. Now you're probably wondering why I've got marshmallows. Yeah. So, I'm going to challenge you to the chubby bunny challenge. I'm pretty good at this. You've done the chubby bunny I've challenge? I've done it before. Shit. I'm pretty good at it. Shit. Here we go. We're going at the same time. Probably borrow. Probably borrow. Probably borrow. Probably borrow. Chubby bunny. <laughs> Chubby bunny. You got bigger mouth than me then. Look at his cheeks. Chubby bunny. <laughs> I'm dribbling. You look like a chubby bunny now. Chubby bunny. That was very posh. You get posh or you get one marshmallow in your mouth. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Oh, it hurts. Oh, God. La, 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 la. Oh, I can't really throw stuff, actually. You might win. <laughs> so do you, Oh, no, Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my Do you do better at this one? You should do it with him. Chubby bunny. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh! oh a little bit competitive. I'm not, you're gonna win. I've got all my room in the middle. <laughs> she truly, she's waving at the cheeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Good at swallowing. 
Hi and welcome to Crazy Jungle Life. Hello, I'm Lizzie J. And I'm Wayne Barrow. We've got a jam-packed show for you today. We certainly have. Now we've got everything coming up from cute and cuddly koalas to butterflies and... Right through to those creepy crawlies. We've got a huge yeah. goliath bird-eating spider and some bats as well. Should we go find them? Let's go have Come a look. Come join us. I'm that guy who sits around on a Thursday afternoon watching Jeremy Kyle. My bisexual brother is trying to steal my girlfriend. What's the bisexual bit got to do with anything? I don't get it. I'm gonna go on Jeremy Kyle. Could boost my career. <laughs> Married that less than a year, but I'll divorce my husband if he's cheated. Why did you marry him if you think he's cheating on you? 